to episode 5.1 of the Roblox Save Slot series. In this video, I will just be showing you a little example on how to use and fill out this uh, to-do portion of the uh, slot script, so the fire server data and stuff. So I have went ahead and imported my text widget, and right now, let me show you what it does. So if I click on here, I can type some text in, and you can see it updates. It says your current text is blah blah blah, like that. So what I want to be able to do is to save this text and my widget into the uh, slots so that I can load them later, like I showed you in my introductory video. So let's get started with filling out these to-dos. So inside the save button, I want to pass in the data, and the data I want is the string corresponding to the text in here. So to do that, I'm going to make a variable to that text. And if I expand my starter GUI, I, ha I have my text here, my text widget, and there's a text box, and this text box will hold the text. So I'll make a variable over to that text box. All right, so there's my variable. Now in here, we want to pass in the data, which is the text box's text. So we can just type in text box dot text, and that should work. When we load the data, we want to be able to update the text in here. So I can do that by setting the text box dot text is equal to the data. And that's all you need to do for my example. So this is very simple. Just showing you a way to use this. So let me test this real quick. And one thing to take note of is that you have to have your game be published to actually access this data store functionality of Roblox. I forgot to publish my game, so I'm going to do that very quickly right now. And also make sure if you go to your game settings in the home, make sure in your uh, security part that you check enable studio access to API services. And in the description it says it gives you uh, permission to use data stores inside studio. And we want this for testing purposes and you can of course turn it off when you uh, test everything to make sure it works. So right now I'm leaving it on for testing purposes so we can see what happens. So right now I only have my local script in slot 1 so currently only slot 1 will work. I haven't added the local script into anything else so I can type in some text here. And I can type in some different text like hello and if I click load it goes back. So I verified that my slot script works. Now that this works, I am going to copy it over to the other slots. So I have my slot script in here, of course. Copy it into the other one, and you don't actually have to change anything in the code because it does script.parent, which means it just references a parent. It doesn't reference a specific name. So you can just copy this script into as many different slots as you want. So now, if I play test again, I should have it. It should be that... Um, both of my slots work. So if I type some text in here, and I click save in my slot 1, it's going to be saved in my slot 1. And if I type in different text, save it in my slot 2, I can now load both. So I can load my first slot, and I can load my second slot. So this is just an example of how to use this. And this is pretty much all you need to do to get your thing to work. So this is the basic usage of the uh, save slot system. And I will make another video explaining how to change your slot name if you have a different GUI layout than this. But if you follow this GUI layout and you have this code and stuff inside here, this should be it. So you've reached the pretty much the end of the tutorial. And um, I'll make another video. And if you want more clarification, I can make more uh, if you post some comments. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.